Okay, what is your history with The Watchmen? Like, when you were growing up, was this something that you kind of read as a child, or is this a... No, no, I was a big fan of the graphic novel when it came out. I'm... It sat on my shelf, you know, for 20 years. I look at it occasionally. So when the studio called, I was... I did know exactly what they were talking about. But, uh, you know, I was reading the notes how, like, when, you, when you were preparing for it, you had the whole thing all mapped out in terms of, like, storyboards and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, no, So how long did that take to kind of... It took me about five and a half months to draw the movie. Um, but that process is just, there's no avoiding that for me. Like, I can't, I wish I could get around that part, but I just can't. There's no, there's no way really to communicate the idea of a picture to someone who needs to, well, there, I'm sure there is a lot of dialogue, but I'm pretty specific about what the picture should be, so... The drawings are really just, I think, a way for everyone to sort of understand what's going on. I was flipping through, the because the, I, I haven't noted this before, so I was flipping through, and there were some, certain images when I was looking th through the graphic novel that you totally capture, like, almost carbon copy. So so to, to kind of be able to do that, are you, like, do you know if the fans are going to react? Because, you know, like, I was like, oh, you, that's the that's the sequence where it's like, oh, it's raining. And yeah, it's no, really absolutely. I, I think that the, I mean, I you know, I'm a fan, so, um, you know, when I see an image that I find, like, um, translates well from the graphic novel to the movie. It, it, it jazzes me up, so I hope that, you know, if you're a fan of the graphic novel, you'll see those images and be like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, I read <laughs> yesterday that, that the final cut was actually not the one, I mean, this is the final cut, but like the, the, the running time was actually even longer than, yeah, than the, what... Yeah, the, the director's cut's about three hours and 10 minutes long. This is 2.40. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's considerably longer and it, it's just, there's just stuff like, I don't know if you know the graphic novel, but like the first night owl is murdered by the top knots and that's in the movie, in the movie we shot it. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of my favorite sequences, but it made sense to cut it out because it just, to ch I mean, look, you know, it's not a complete fetishistic um, event. You know, I did want, I do want like mass culture to also sort of try to appreciate it in the same way that I appreciate it the first time I read it. You know, people are always like, do you have to be a Watchmen fan to like Watchmen? And I said, well, I wasn't a Watchmen fan when I read it, so so you know you have to get to it somehow. You're you know everyone's a Watchmen virgin at some point. It, it is it is kind of daunting when because you know I didn't finish it, so I was I was discovering things I was watching on screen. So so to get all this information and all these different characters are like weaving through each other. How do you control all of that? I mean, obviously the script probably helped, but but you know how do you? Yeah, that that was the most challenging part of making the movie was trying to manage the layers because it's a pretty multi-layered event and you know, really to try and drill down on these different concepts and constantly keep them all, you know, in play and remembering, like, the different layers that each character has to express and just the little things, like, you know, because not only was I, like, worried about the performances, but I'm also like, oh, geez, we need to move that thing. I want that in frame and, you know, we should, I need some more, like, you know, Gunga Diner um, napkins on the table. You know, I'm constantly trying to, was constantly trying to, put in that second layer, the sort of tone of the graphic novel into in every, almost every shot. What's really nice also about the film is you've curated this really good group of actors who mm. can kind of, you know, stand on their own, even though they're wearing funny costumes and things yeah, like yeah. that. Um, so, so to kind of watch them do their thing, you know, were they, did they need your direction or did they kind of, were they kind of confused at first and you kind of had to guide I them think in that a way? The, I think it was, um, it's certainly a combination of, uh, of trying to understand the world I wanted to create, but also, you know, taking, because um, the third element was, it was me, it was them, it was the sets and everything, but then the unknown thing was the graphic novel, which they all had, and they all would refer to. And it was cool to have this other sort of, I don't even know what you would call it, it's just like a, a thing to turn to in your Reference, times, yeah. of, uh, times of confusion to sort of clarify, you know, the world for you. So that was, that was cool. Well, it's definitely fun to watch. Thank you very, very oh, thank much. Thank you. That's thank awesome. You. awesome. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.